Hello again, I'm Stan Boney. And I'm Alexis Walters. The Mill Creek Metro Parks Board of Commissioners this evening voted unanimously to reopen all facilities that have been closed because of COVID. It will be a phased in reopening with everything expected to be open by May the 7th. And the reopening will begin tomorrow. All the outdoor based recreational facilities, outdoor education programs, rec leagues, and events will be allowed effective tomorrow. Now, on May 1st, all open air shelters can be used. And then on May 7th, it's a Friday, all indoor facilities will reopen. This includes those used for rentals, education, and recreation. The reopening of Mill Creek Metro Parks. It is our top story at 10. It was quiet this evening outside the Davis Center at Mill Creek Park. The center hasn't been open in over a year. The displays in the gift shop are covered with sheets. But come May 7th, the Davis Center, along with Lanterman's Mill and Pioneer Pavilion, will be open again for visitors. All users will be required uh, to follow the current orders of the governor. The decision to reopen Mill Creek Metro Parks came this evening during a Board of Commissioners meeting, which was live streamed. Executive Director Aaron Young said all rental agreements will include language stating that all renters will be responsible for meeting any COVID requirements. I don't want to become the mass police and the six foot apart police because we've already went through that. Allowed to reopen tomorrow, though they won't be ready yet, will be the boat docks at Lakes Glacier and Newport. On May 1st, the Slippery Rock Pavilion and the park's other open air shelters will be allowed to reopen as well. As far as the concerts at Morley Pavilion, it was not mentioned specifically if they would or would not return, though Aaron Young seemed to be more concerned about indoor events than those outdoors. So I think it's incumbent upon the person having the event to identify what their comfort level is before they solicit patrons and visitors for that event. As far as reopening the outdoor cafe at the Davis Center, which was being operated by Kravitz Deli, Aaron Young says that will likely happen eventually, but not immediately. 